Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back students. So today we are on uh, lecture 6 uh, C++ functions part 2 of the programming fundamentals course. Uh, today we are going to see the real life or the real world application of user defined function like how can we solve a particular problem that we face in the real life using C++ user defined functions. So uh, with that let us move on. So far uh, we have discussed user defined functions but that was uh, like uh, just theoretical part and we uh, also discussed some uh, simple C++ program but today the things will be uh, more difficult and in detail so uh, keep your attention um, so if you are attentive then uh, you will get how we are going to solve a particular real life problem so once again today uh, we are going to discuss user defined functions and with that we are going to go into the details and solve a problem that is how to find a palindrome number so a palindrome, palindrome number is a number that is read uh, from the left and from the right side and you if you read it from the left side and then if you read it from the right side you will get the same number so for example if uh, i can say that if we have a one two one so this is a palindrome number so similarly if we have one two three two one so if i read it like one two three two one or one two three two one so this is also a palindrome number so these are uh, just example so we are going to see how c++ user defined function can help us in finding a palindrome number but before that we have to like uh, we have to study uh, what is palindrome number we have to define the steps we have to write the flow of uh, the computer instructions how they are going to be executed and then we will come to a point where uh, it will be easier for us to understand how a user defined function solve this problem so this in so in this example we are going to write a function and that function name is is num palindrome so is design that returns true if an integer is a palindrome and false otherwise so if a number is not a palindrome it will return false so an integer is a palindrome if it if it reads forward and backward in the same way so the integers 5 4 4 4 3 4 1 8 8 1 and 7 8 9 6 5 6 9 8 7 all are palindromes suppose we have a number and that is an integer so if the number is less than 10 so straight away it's a palindrome but suppose the number is greater than or equal to 10 then we have to determine whether number is palindrome so then first we compare the first and the last digit of number so this this is the first uh, this is the uh, first task that we are going to solve this is the first thing that we are going to solve while finding whether a number is palindrome or not if a number is greater than 10 so the, if the first and the last digit of the numbers are not the same then it is not a palindrome okay so with that i think uh, um, this is like you have understood it this, these uh, concepts um, of uh, these concepts are very simple and very easy but uh, let us see uh, how this program or this problem becomes more and more difficult so the the first and the last digit of the number are the same remove the first and the last digit of a number and repeat this process on a new number which is obtained from a number after removing the first and the last digit of a number so if i repeat if the first and the last digit of number are same then we remove the first and the last digit of number and repeat this process on a new number which is obtained from num 
after removing the first and the last digits of the num. Repeat the process as long as the number is greater than or equal to 10. Suppose, let us see as um, an example. Suppose the input is 18281. So this is an input. So let us read it out from the forward and from the backward. 18281, 18281. So this is a palindrome. So if we apply our algorithm to it, then uh, what will be the first step? The first and the last digit of the number 18281 are the same. So we remove the first and the last digit to get a number 828. So here in this case, we have removed the first number and we have removed the second number. So we get 828 as a result. We repeat this process of comparing the first and the last digit on 828. Once again, the first and the last digit are the same. So this means we are going to remove, this time we are going to remove 8 and 8. So after removing the first and last digit of 8 to 8, the resulting number is 2, which is less than 10. Thus, 1, 2, 1, sorry, 1, 8, 2, 8, 1 is a palindrome. So to remove the first and last digit of num, you first need to find the highest power of 10 that divides num, call it the power of 10 or PWR. So once again, I repeat, to remove the first and last digits of num, you first need to find the highest power of 10 that divides num, call it PWR. So I repeat, to remove the first and last digit of num, you first need to find the highest power of 10 that divides 10. So we have to find the highest power of 10 that divide 10. So it is it is the highest power of 10. So we call it as PWR or power. The highest power of 10 that divides 1, 8, 2, 8, 1 is 4. So it means that we have 10 to the power 4 which is we append 4 zeros to the 10. So 10 to the power 4 is like uh, let me uh, calculate it for you. Let me, this is 10, oh, okay, this is 10 to the power 10, so if we find, okay, where is power, 10 to the power 4, no, I think uh, we are not getting the point. So let me let him let me make it simple. 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 and then multiply by 10. So what we get, we get a number with 4 0. So this is the highest number that we get while we have this 1 8 281 so that is power is 4 okay let me check out the time okay okay so yes we here we were the highest power of 10 that divide divides 18281 is 4 so that is power is equal to 4. Now 18281 modulus 10 to the power 4 is 8281. So what we did in this example, we removed, we were, we are, we have success, successfully removed the first digit of this palindrome number. So how can like you can do it on um, like on the calculator or whatever you like. So if we have this modulus operator, let me, I think this, no. Okay, let me check it out.
Now this is division, this is minus, so where is the modulus? Okay. Um, let me get this. This is the standard. Let me get the scientific. Okay, we, we, we can also uh, do it uh, on uh, on the Excel sheet. So, okay, I'm going to open the Excel sheet. Then we are going to perform this operation. So I need a blank Excel sheet. So what we have, we have equal to sign. And then we have one, eight, two, eight, one. One, eight, two, eight, one. And what is the operation? The operation is modulus. Okay. So modulus one, two, three, four. Okay, what is the problem? It says that you type cell shows this and this. Okay. I think this is a number. Okay, uh, you can figure it out. I think uh, we are wasting our time on this, but this thing, this modulus uh, gives you, like you can also write it in, in the code blocks. You know that while uh, using code blocks, we have, uh, we have like solved similar type of problems okay so let me once again go to the main slide so since 8 to 8 1 divided by 10 is if you divide it by 10 you get 8 to 1 so the last digit is removed so we decrement power by 2 for the next iteration so this is the algorithm that this, this is the pseudo code for how we can um, remove the first digit and the last digit so for removing the first digit we perform this type of operation we find the highest power of 10 that divides the spell and round number um, and we call it power in this case the highest power is 4 then we perform this operation and remove the first digit and for removing this last digit we perform this operation and we remove one from um, this spell and round so uh, in the last stage, we decre decrement power by two for the next iteration. So uh, let us go step for, step by step. So this is an algorithm. It is like in English language. So it is um, used so that you can easily understand it. If num is less than 10, it is a palindrome. So the function should return true. Suppose num is integer and num is greater than or equal to 10. To see if num is a palindrome, find the highest power of 10 that divides them and call it PWR. For example, the highest power of 10 that divides 434 is 2. So this is 100. So the highest power of 10 that divides 7, 9, 8, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 8, 7 is 8. While num is greater than or equal to 10, compare the first and last digit of num. If the first and last digit of num are not the same, num is not a palindrome. Return false. If the first and last digit of num are same, then b uh, 2.1, then what is the sub step? Remove the first and last digit of num, decrement the power by 2. And at the end, we return true if the number is palindrome. So this is the, uh, the actual program that we write in C++. So the code block is also running. So let me... Uh, create a new project so you go to create project console application and then we move next and then uh, you can say that okay we are in the right directory palindrome example call it palindrome example and then uh, uh, we are going to like uh, paste our code out, uh, here so let me once again go to our main slide. 
so in this case i am just going to run this program and inshallah in the next part we are going to further discuss it so let me paste it here uh, let me once again go to the main slide and the else part copy it paste it okay so now let me compile and run so we have some error and the first error is that power was not defined so you know that we have to include include c math library so compile and run once again error expected uh, the closing curly brace at the input so uh, okay so we have to write this curly brace and here i am going to call this function so c out and what is the name of function it is is palindrome num and we are going to paste it here and pass so for example one to one is a palindrome just for the sake of understanding we are going to run it yes it returns true so this is a palindrome so let's see is one to a palindrome no it is not a palindrome so uh, i haven't explained uh, this example to you but inshallah in the next uh, part i'm going to explain it so we are going to explain i'm going to explain it step by step so do not uh, worry about it so for now i'm going to stop this video and i'll see you in the next uh, part of the lecture.